Hey guys, today I have some new lip products from Too Faced. Well, just one product, two different shades. It's a mouthful of a name. It's called the Too Faced Peach Puff Long Wearing Diffused Matte Lip Color. So these are 25 Canadian dollars or 19 US dollars and you get 0 0.07 ounces or two milliliters of product, which is not that much uh, comparably to other lip products. Like a MAC lipstick, um, this one is three grams. The Fenty Gloss is nine milliliters, so just kind of to give you an idea, it is on the lower side of the amount of product that you get, so just keep that in mind. There are 12 shades in total. They seem to be like a range of nudes, pinks, peaches, and some purples in there. I got two shades. I got Stoked, which is a soft, warm pink nude. And I got You Wish, which is a soft baby mauve nude. The packaging is pretty cool. I don't have anything that is similar packaging to this. So it's just a nice sleek tube. The lid pops off and then you have this puff at the top. You twist the bottom up and then product comes out the top. It smells exactly like the um, these lipsticks here. These ones here, the, the matte peach ones that they already have, they smell exactly like that. And same with the peachy matte eyeshadow palette. And the color of the packaging is the shade that's on the inside. And I say it matches actually pretty well. Like I'll show you some swatches and side-by-sides with the packaging there. They portray the formula actually pretty good with this packaging. So that's nice because sometimes they do that, but it's totally off. So I'm just going to apply both shades so you can see what they look like. And then I'll go into more details about the lipstick itself. So this first one that I'm going to try on is Stoked. And now I'm going to apply You Wish. So after trying these for a couple of days, there's definitely some pros and cons to the formula, the application. So it's supposed to be a liquid formula that's feather resistant, which is definitely true because it's such a lightweight formula. Like when you apply this, it's just the thinnest layer ever, probably because of the puff and just how it goes on. I don't really know, but I don't really care because I love it. It's just Thin, you don't even feel it and then it dries and then you have this nice color on your lips so that's good and it just stays in place because it's not an overload of product um it doesn't really have much product for to feather around so that's good and then it wears off really nicely like since it's such a thin layer already as you wear it throughout the day it just gracefully goes away and it also leaves behind like a slight stain unless you like really scrub it off um but it says it lasts up to eight hours which i would say it's true because of the staining but i don't really wear a lip for eight hours straight anyways like i'm always going to be eating reapplying and eight hours is just not practical for me um but like you totally could like if you wanted to just let it wear off you could it won't look crazy at least with the shades that i got maybe with some of the darker shades that might not be as true but i still think just because it's a nice thin layer already it should be good to go the formula actually really reminds me of the mac powder kiss not the application in that sense um because this one goes on as a liquid the mac is just a bullet lipstick um but just how it looks and feels on the lips after like you can't feel a thing it's just a nice thin layer of a matte really soft focus kind of color and i love that look if i'm gonna wear a matte lip that's how it's gonna be i can't really do much else or else it feels too heavy and too dry but this is a nice way to get a matte lip color without feeling like you have a matte lip color on your lips and sucking all the moisture out. The only issue that I have with this is the application. Like, okay, I like the application. I like the little puff thing. It um, helps to just, I don't know, thin it out and make it nice and smooth looking, but it's kind of bulky and my lips are small and I'm already bad at applying lipsticks. So it can be easy to just go outside of my line and look kind of crazy. I mean, it's really easy to clean up as long as the formula hasn't dried down already, you can just wipe it away and it's no problem. But puffer can be a little bit messy. It's not 
the most precise thing, that's for sure. Especially since the formula comes out like all around this top part. Overall, I love these because it's technically a matte liquid lipstick but it's not, you know, like it's not your traditional matte liquid lipstick. It's such a nice lightweight and watery formula. And then once it dries down on your lips, you can't even tell that it's there. Like it feels like I have nothing on my lips, which love that. This is the only way I will ever wear a matte liquid lipstick again, I swear. Yeah, I would say if you like the Powder Kiss lipsticks from MAC, then definitely give these a try. Um, the finish is just really similar, like just a nice soft focus and matte kind of wash of color, like, oh, I love it. Anyways, that's all I have for today's video. Uh, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you later. Bye.